What are we looking for out here? Well, the map shows all these structures around the volcano. Some abandoned outposts, a handful of watchtowers. Watchtowers? Yeah, Avery was the most wanted man in the world. So if he was hiding something out here, it makes sense he'd need lookouts. And one of those towers is right on the volcano. With Avery's treasure. Fingers crossed. I see some ruins up ahead. Wait here. I'll go take a look. Oh, Victor. You still do a lot of traveling these days? Yeah, I try. I tend to pick jobs that get me away from the computer. <laughs> yeah, I was telling Nate that it's shocking how much of the business has moved to the internet. I mean, I bet you have all sorts of options to get rid of hot coddle now. Yeah, sure, but I prefer talking to clients face to face. Getting read up. Hard to do that in a <laughs> chat room talking to some guy named Antiquity Master 37. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> Uh, not much to see here. Well? Ah, nothing worthwhile. Come on, let's keep going. Hey, so with our luck, what are the odds this volcano is going to erupt on us? Zero. It's extinct. Trust me, that's the first thing I looked up when we said we were heading for a volcano. That and where to rent the cheapest four by four. Wait, Sully, you're telling me that you actually did some research? Can't let you be the know-it-all every time you get That bridge there is what you would call Ricky. Uh, this looks promising. Come on, come on, baby. Let's go, 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 go. Made it. Okay, kid. Just don't drop us. I just. Keep it slow, keep it in the center. Yeah, there's a lot of backseat driving going on. Ah! We're good. Everything's good. Jesus Christ. Onward and upward. Don't spin out now. Ah, we're getting nowhere fast. Y you need traction here. Nathan, the rocks. <laughs> I got my I, I got it. <laughs> okay, I think I'm getting the hang of this. There we go. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, my spine. Look, tire tracks. Someone came up this way. Hey, Victor, what were you arguing with the little guy? Oh, your brother insisted on getting a 4x4 with a winch. So you sprung for the winch, but you couldn't spring for the suspension. I got it. Hey, it's important. It's going off-road. It might rain, might be muddy. I bet we go through this whole goddamn... Oh, oh gee. shit! Take this slow, kid. Yeah. So 
Well, Nathan, you're thinking Avery, Two, and some other big shot pirates pulled their treasure and came out here because why exactly? Who knows? Maybe for protection? British authorities were closing in on him. Sure. Maybe uh, he helped them disappear. I mean, the guy clearly had a knack for hiding things. That was a valiant effort. That mud's too slippery. Time to come up with a plan B here. Let's go check out that tower. I'll come with. It's in pretty good shape for something several hundred years old. Yeah. There's definitely ruins from Avery's era. <laughs> Sam, look. That's... Christopher Condon's sigil is uh, captain of the Fiery Dragon, operated out of Madagascar around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, along with providing the men for it. <laughs> Whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. <sighs> stripped away. Something was wrapped around this tree. Hey, did you know our car came with a winch? Oh, really? I didn't know. What you gonna do with it? Not sure yet. How to do it? Well, that looked like fun. It's steeper than it looks. All right, ready? Give it a shot. Here we go. Steady. Steady. <laughs> See, Sully? Winch. Totally worth it. We cleared a hill. It hasn't exactly paid for itself. Well, not yet. Small victories. Yeah, well, I'll celebrate the big ones. <laughs> Feast your eyes, gentlemen. Wow. Spectacular. Just imagine. You've come here. A well-to-do pirate far away from your oppressive government. <laughs> oh, poor oppressed pirates. All they wanted to do was to murder and pillage in peace. No, no, they wanted to live as free men. Well, if you gotta pick a place to run away from society, you could do a lot worse than here. It's taken forever to get to this volcano. Patience, Victor, patience. Do you know how those pirates got here? They had to start in England, sail to Brazil, then cut back across the Atlantic to South Africa. Sam. And they figured all that out with... Oh, shit! Stop! Stop! Sam. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks 
like they found an old colony outpost. But the wrong one, right? <sighs> That's the good news. That means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. We do have the drop on them. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. After we deal with these shoreline goons. Okay, I think that's it. God damn it. Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. I mean, they, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. So that bridge looks like it could come down any minute. One to go. Again with the winch, Sully. Pretty handy, right? I wasn't against getting the winch. I was against getting ripped off. No, turn into it. <clears throat> Sully, just how well do you know Nadine? Why? 
I was thinking maybe you can contact her, convince her to call off her goons. <laughs> yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of mercenary. The rape's got the advantage there. Look, shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. This thing in the same damn thing. What if they found the treasure already? Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they'd found it already, they wouldn't be searching. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard saw me as a charity case, I guess. He had to check out books from the library for me. Well, what'd you read? <laughs> History? Uh, hey, is that a well? Well, well, well. <laughs> Get it? You know, because it's a well. Sully, you stole your joke. I noticed. Good sense of humor, though. What have we here? Damn, these pirates weren't messing around. Did you find something down there? Baby, do me a favor, get behind the wheel for a sec. Will do. Hey, Sully, throw the car in reverse. Okay, give me a second. Okay, what do we have here? So? Nothing major. I'll show you back at the hotel. All right. What are you talking about again? Um, no. Oh, right. <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. 
just in case, you know. Sure. But you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs, it's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. Well, that would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad and never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back. Ah, hell. See that smoke? Ooh, shoreline, slow down. Sam, what were you talking about? Uh, oh, right. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago, even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder. Check it out, boys. What is it? We see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Now let you look at this. Quite the view. <sighs> Just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam. No, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just. Let's go find this thing. You bet. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. I mean, especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Check it out, boys. What is it?
Hey guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. Well, it would appear we got here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Drawbridge? How medieval. Yeah. Well, you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to keep people out. Or protect something inside. Hey, Nathan, come check this out. Hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. I'll see if I can find something to stand on. Shoreline must have been here before. Find his keepers. Hey, be careful, kid. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. Bingo. Sam, special delivery. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey kid, you all right? I'm fine. You all right? Yeah. You got this? Mm-hmm. I see in a few. I'll bring the car closer. Are you two just relax? I got this. I mean, there's only one crank, you know. <laughs> Keep up the good work, kid. Oh no. Guys! Ah! Those clowns are really getting on my nerves.
still before more shoreline show up. Hey. Right. Ah. Let's get that bridge down. There we go. Big tower on a volcano. Looks like the end's in sight, huh? You know, not to nitpick, but Avery spent all that money on towers. Would it have killed him to put a guardrail up here? Take a look around. So just how much do you owe Alcazar? Uh, half. Half of what? Well, he only knows about the Gunsway heist. Which is worth 400 million. Right, but if Nathan's theory is correct, then there's a lot more treasure in it. Well, you should have told him it was 200,000. You never tell your partners how much a job is really worth. I wasn't exactly expecting to be partners with him. There we go. We're all set. Here we go. share on this one with my shrink. <laughs> Wait, you have a shrink? No, but I will after this. Come on, you guys are overreacting. Get the whole thing under control. <laughs> Hold on to something. Oh. Ah. Oh, that was a nice change of pace. Yeah, I'm almost disappointed. Uh, uh, almost. Now, let's find our way in. Let's go claim our treasure, boys. <laughs> hmm. Can't get in that way. Sam, give me a hand with this. 
Yeah. Let's see what we got here. Huh. Looks like there's something back here. Sam? Yeah. Let's do this. <clears throat> Damn. It's breaked over. All right, let's look around. Careful with that thing, kid. <clears throat> Heads up! God, Jesus! I said heads up! Victor, this way. He seems excited. Oh, he's got a lot riding on this. Don't see a treasure, though. Hey, guys? Coming! <laughs> Come check this out. St. Dismas. We meet again. So, what do we got? More sigils. There's our boy Avery. Thomas, too. And that's, uh... Um... That's Adam Baldridge, that's uh, Joseph Farrell, and that's Richard Warren. Hmm. Pirate captains. All right, so maybe your pirate pool theory wasn't so ridiculous after all. <laughs> all right, so, uh... Let's see, what do you think the trick is here? Gotta push a button, pull something? Uh, maybe... Maybe one of the arms, or... Yeah, give it a shot. <coughs> Come on. Boys. <laughs> Whenever you're done fondling poor St. Dismas, I think you might want to come take a look at this. The trapezoid is obviously the volcano. The crown, that's King's Bay. We got ourselves a map, gentlemen. Hector, you're a goddamn genius. Hear that, Nate? Genius. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so if we're here, this tower lines up with Avery Sigil. Okay, so then the other sigils must be the towers from Avery's time. Well, I mean, a treasure's gotta be in one of them, right? Yeah, but which one? I count 12 towers. Hey, uh, Victor? Huh? 
You didn't start smoking cigarettes by any chance, did you? Looks like we're not the first ones here. Let's hope so. You okay? Yeah. Yeah, fuck. Sam? Yeah, over here. Hey, what are you doing? It's confirming a suspicion. Shit. Look at this. They figured out the towers, too. Locations, sigils, the works. So now what? Now what? Now we're screwed. Okay, because there's three of us, and there's God knows how many of them, and they have a head start? Yeah, but they don't know which tower to go to yet. Well, that's great, Nathan, because neither do we. Guess we do. <laughs> Look, it's a little worn down. Right there, that's a match. Yeah, are you sure? Because, I mean, it could be this one, too. But still, two beats the hell out of 12. All right. I'm gonna take this tower. You and Sully, you take that one. No, 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 no. no, no Rafe's guys are all over these towers by now. Exactly. So if we want to have a chance to catch them, then we've got to split up. Sam, just hold up a second, will you? Nate, he's right. These towers are at opposite ends of King's Bay. If you run into any of those shoreline clowns, you call us, okay? See you soon. Come on, Nate. We gotta hurry. Yeah. All right, there's our tower. You really think all that treasure's gonna be just sitting in the middle of a goddamn market? Oh, yeah, that'd be crazy. But we've seen crazy before. That we have. Hey, oh, look out. Attention. Okay, fine, fine. Here. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Enjoy your apple and tell your friends. Oh, 
marché. Il a amené voir un café. C'est ce que j'aime bien faire avec les boulets. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Hey, you like that, huh? Power. It's solid. Come on, it's a, it's a lemur. Come on, come say hi. That's all right. <laughs> so cute. Whoa! Hey! Hey, Sully! <laughs> Look who's back! Rabies, Nate. Hey, you know what? After this is over and done with, I'm gonna get a dog. Hey, we come out of this in one piece, I'll buy you the damn dog. Can I name it Victor? <laughs> sure. Hey, Nate! Want me to buy you one of these? Sully, you gotta be crazy to wear a shirt like that. Ah, crazy handsome. Oh, man. Something smells really good. Oh, watch it. Mm, he's right. It does smell good. Excuse me. <laughs> Hey, here we go. Locked. I guess we're gonna have to sneak in. Discreetly. Implied by the use of the word sneak, Sully. Ah. Hey, Sully, I think we can squeeze through here. That'll work. <coughs> Long way down. <sighs> you okay back there? You keep your pace. I'll keep mine. <coughs> yeah, well, at least you got a great view, right? <coughs> 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 Okay, let's see what we got. Edward England sigil, just like the map said. So what are we looking for? Good question. Yes. Yes, it is. Hmm. Now, what do you bet? Zodiac symbols. Look, there's Leo. Ah, and Taurus. Four signs. Uh, four bells, way up there. And these things in the middle of the floor look like locks. Got it. Let's go ring some bells. Crap. This is definitely the place. Call Sam. On it. Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. Voicemail. Hey, Sam. Looks like we're at the right tower. Call us. They don't have the best coverage in this city. Well, no reason to wait.
be right back. still works. Yeah, I noticed. I'm trying not to get tangled in those gears up there. You bet. your fingers, Nate. Should I be nervous? <laughs> no, I'm good. Trust me. Where have I heard that before? Scorpio. Bet Avery was a Scorpio. Ah, okay, that is really loud. Hey Nate, that did the trick. Scorpio lock just released. Okay, moving on to the next one.
Leo. I dated a Leo once. Fun? Wow. Now this is a nice view. are lined up. I can get across.
No, 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 no. Jesus. Sure hope you're doing okay out there, Sam. Okay, Sully, I made it! This is gonna be loud. Sully, heads up! Sorry, the handle broke. I'm gonna have to ring it myself. Ah, here we go. Jesus Christ. Hey, Sally. Oh, shit. At least I got the door open, though, huh? <laughs> That's one way to do it. You all right? I don't know yet. You? Deaf? Come on. Let's see what Avery has in store for us. <laughs> <laughs> 